For many football fanatics, the Mundial is a pilgrimage embarked on every four years. Like any religious pilgrimage, a trip to the World Cup takes years of preparation, dedication and sometimes sacrifices. With barely a week to go, football fans across the world are packing up their replica shirts, national flags and rehearsing their chants ahead of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. I've come to see some footballing fans who will be in Qatar to support the Black Stars. Okay, so it's a bright Saturday afternoon here at the Narnia FC Park and uh, you know, Football is just a passion of the country. As you can see behind me, some kids are, you know, trying out their skills, their shooting skills and all that. But we're here to speak with one individual who has been to every World Cup that Ghana has been to. I'm talking 2006, 2010, 2014 and heading into the 2022 Qatar World Cup. He will be there. Just talk about uh, how much really it's involved in getting yourself from Accra to Doha. Let's get into it. How does it feel like watching the Black Stars play at the World Cup final? It's, it's, I mean, you can't describe it. It's more an experience. In The ecstasy comes with a good game. The ecstasy comes with good football. And if we, have, we are honest, all three World Cups Ghana has been, we have played good football. It would cost over 10,000 CDs in flight fees alone to travel to the hosting country Qatar from here in Ghana. So what happens is uh, it's more to do with you pay official prices. I mean the third party tickets, those are the ones that can basically take your budget a little bit over in the sense that it's demand and supply. But I've been to enough World Cups to know when to actually purchase them. You wait till just before the game starts and you get literally at face value. If one decides to watch all three matches of the Black Stars, that is some $600 and about 7,000 CDs. And that ticket price is only if you are one of the 2.9 million early birds who have purchased the 3.1 million tickets on sale. But could that be a drop in the pocket or a worthy sacrifice for a fan who would hope to catch a glimpse of what could arguably be the last World Cup of the greatest footballing stars, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo? For this year, Kenneth has bought a complete package from FIFA that has tied him to the Black Stars to the finals. Qatar, I would say, for me, most of the time, I do everything through FIFA. Most of my stuff I do through FIFA, so... Cost-wise, I do not pay more than the official prices for the World Cup. Yal Bene, a football fanatic, has also followed the Black Stars all around major tournaments. I absolutely love football. And if Ghana is playing, you know, if I can afford to be there, yes, I, I think I should be there. Like Kenneth, Yao has also bought a package from FIFA. I started planning for this way before uh problems really manifested so yes uh because i've already made the arrangements um i'm not it's not as if i'm now paying for tickets now i i paid for the tickets way back in i think april or may yeah. The Ghana supporters are an amalgamation of 40 support groups and the spine of the black stars fan base the over 100 strong team have had representation at every tournament. But to have them everywhere the Black Stars play is a great cost. For a minimum package fee of $5,000 per head, just taking 100 of these fans to the Mundial would cost half a million dollars. But with football's governing body FIFA allocating some $2.5 million to the Ghana Football Association, they could be lucky recipients of some portions of that fund. They are, however, hopeful corporate Ghana would come to their aid. As we speak, Ghana supporters, we don't even know how many are we going. Even though Minister has mentioned it, that definitely we're going to go, but as to how many are we going, we don't know. Um, maybe any moment from now, we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be receiving a call that maybe we should come for a slot. I don't know. So now you might be wondering, how much is it going to cost you to go to Doha and experience the World Cup? Well, there are a few things that we need to take into consideration. First of all, your airfare is going to cost you some 1,600 United States dollars. And with accommodation, it's also going to cost you around the same. That's also $1,800. Now, the most important thing why you went there, 
the match tickets if Ghana is going to go all the way to the finals will cost you at least $1,000. And let's say you spend, let's say, $500 on feeding. That's also there and pocket money for any eventualities. So let's say you're taking along some $1,000. So that gives us a grand total of $5,900. Now using today's exchange rate of 14 cities, 50 pesos, that's going to cost you a whopping 85,550 cities. So that is how much it's going to cost you to go to Doha for the World Cup. Is it worth it? That's totally up to you. Reporting for TV3 News, Iman Osman.